Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And today I am going to discuss the problem partition list. Index number is 86, and the problem is of medium type of this late code. Okay. So before moving further to discuss the problem, I just want to make it clear that this problem is one of the you can say the favorite problem of many interviews. That is, this problem has been asked in many interviews. So we need to have a uh, good idea. So how to uh, like how to find the best solution of this problem okay so for now let's discuss this problem and find out what should be the approach to solve this problem in best possible way okay so let's discuss the problem now we have been given the head of a link list and a value x and uh, we need to partition it such that all nodes that are less than x note that this is the term that is strictly less than x that is x is the value that is given to us in the very beginning and uh, okay so such all the nodes less than x comes before all the nodes greater than or equal to x okay and we should preserve the original relative order of the nodes in each of the two partitions okay so if you are still not unaware or about the terms that i have told about you or you still doesn't understand the meaning of this problem statement still you need not to worry about i am going to explain this entire scenario entire scene of this problem with the help of example for better understanding okay so for now let's move further to understand what should be the constraints over there in this problem sometimes it might be so useful to find out the best solution of this problem the number of nodes in the list is in the range 0 to 100 0 to 200 basically and notes value lies in this range and x is going to be like this okay so we can have a like uh, open solution so let's understand this problem and find out the best solution with the help of examples uh, okay so let's move further okay so here is the link list that is suppose we have been given in this problem and uh, we have been given along with the value of x let's say x is going to be 3 and we need to partition this uh, link list let's say link list l such that all the nodes with values that are going to be less than 3 is going to be like on the left side of this list and followed by all the nodes that are going to be uh, greater than or equal to this value fx would be like uh, to the right side of the list and we need to do that and with the and uh, we should preserve the order of the elements also so let's find it out how we are going to have the new link list first in the in this example so one is going to be like less than three so if one is going to be like less than three we have this one node over here and let's say now we have four which is going to be greater than or equal to three so let's say we have another node with value four okay now again with value three it means that this should lie on the second link list so here we will have a second link list with uh, okay so i'm going to write it clearly second link list with value 3 and this is connected like this okay and now again we have a value 2 which means that it should lie in the first link list and it should be like this one 1 to 2 now you can see the preserving order is basically means uh, you can see 4 is going to be like greater than 3 in this in this second link list but still 4 is going to lie in the left of this this 3 in the second link list why because in the original link list you can see 4 lies on the left side of this uh, node with value 3 and uh, for preserving the order we need to preserve the, the same order in my new link list also okay so first i am trying to just uh, partition this link list on this on the basis of this value x that is given to us okay so let's try to partition so i have done up to this one so let's try to do for this too i am also done with that that is i have appended this two to the first link list now comes this five okay now you can see five is the biggest element but i cannot place this five to any of this place like i should preserve the order so i should place it in the second link list because it is greater than or equal to x and it in the and it should be like a right side of this three and it should be like this one okay now again this two you can see it should be like to this one to the first link list now you can see this these are the two link list on the that is partitioned on the basis of the values of x now we need to join this link list 
okay now if we need to join this linked list i need to join the tail of this first linked list with the head of this second linked list that is it should be joined like this and we should return the linked list head that is this head should be returned which is our answer okay so how we are going to do this so simply uh, as i have already explained with the help of example i will have a o of n solution how we are going to have an o of n solution okay so it should be like just iterate to the nodes of this uh, li original linked list and we will try to check if this uh, my current nodes value is going to be like greater than or equal to x or less than x if it is greater than or equal to x i need to assign to its uh, second linked list and uh, otherwise i need to assign it to its uh, first linked list note that i am not going to make an extra node that is if i am going to make an extra node then it will consume memory so just i am going to change the pointers of this node like if uh, if you are at a certain node let's say if you are at node 4 and we encountered this node 3 just i am going to change force uh, next to 3 okay so for now you can see force next is 3 and also the, is also in this original linked list so just uh, forget about that now just think like uh, for this example like 3's next is should be 5 that is 3's next should be 5 but in my original link list you can see 3's next is 2 which is wrong so I need to manipulate it or you can say modify it so I am going to just iterate in my original link list and I am going to try to modifying the pointers next pointers of the nodes uh, according to the basic or you can see the on the basis of the values of the x okay so let's try to have a O of n solution to this problem by changing the next pointers of this nodes on the basis of x okay so let's try to figure it out how we are going to do that okay so suppose uh, in the initial position my h1 that is h1 is going to be head 1 and let's say i have the p1 also h1 is going to like head uh, head of the my first link list that is going to be partitioned which is actually now null and previous of my first link list which is actually now null and we have another uh, uh, for my second link list h2 is going to denote the its head and initially it is assigned as null and p2 is going to also denote the previous that is uh, recently visited node of the second link list which is now null because it is still not processed any still we haven't processed any nodes now comes the node uh, with value 1 and note that I am going to consider for x equal to 3. Okay, now comes the node with value 1. And if it comes the value 1, that is I am going to first store the next pointer, that is next pointer's address in my temporary node. And uh, if it is going to be stored in the temporary node, the, so that I am going to access that next pointer's node's address later on directly, rather than losing the, you can say, loop indexing. Okay. So I am going to store it in a temporary variable, let's say temp. Okay, no, it's nodes next address. And you can see whenever I am at a certain node and check if it is going to be less than x, I need to uh, uh, push the element into in this link list. So if, uh, for pushing the element into this link list, first I am going to check if uh, head of this link list is already null. It means that this is the first node I am going to make it as header. Okay. So head 1 is going to be like node with value 1 and previous 1 is also going to be assigned as node with value 1. Okay, now you can see again I have encountered this 4. It means that I should push the elements into this second link list. So I am going to push like that h2 will be assigned as node with value 4. And again p2 will be assigned as node with value now you must be aware that before assigning this uh, Ford uh, or you can say nodes address to this h2 and p2 I need to assign the next pointer in that I need to store the next pointer in the temporary node also for uh, later on for without uh, that is I, I should not lose the like uh, looping scenario like uh, I should maintain the uh, I should have the next nodes address so that I can process the next nodes further in my loops okay so if you are not going to understand this no need to worry about I am going to explain that also in the coding part okay. So now again think of a case like uh, I am going to encounter this node 3 
okay if i'm going to encounter this node 3 just check it out if it is already that is if my head is already null or not not that has it already not null so i need to change this previous okay how i'm going to change this previous just assign p2's next that is my previous next that is nodes address with value 4 okay p2's next as current current is actually node with value 3 okay if i am done with this uh, you can you need to be aware that i need to assign p2 as current Okay, so this 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 needs to be done for every node. Either it is going to be less than x, or it is going to be less uh, greater than or equal to x. Okay. Now let's move on to the coding part to understand this entire scenario of implementation. Okay. So let's move further. Okay. Yes. Okay. You can see I have a partition method that is already a given to us so i have this head one and this head two and similarly for previous one and this previous two that is initially assigned as null okay that is going to denote the last visitor node of first list and similarly for the second list and head one and head two are the head of first and second list respectively now you can see i have this uh, list node current equals head which is used to iterate in the given link list okay and this temporary node that is going to store the temporary nodes address which is initially assigned as null okay so i am going to do while current is not equal to null that is my original list link list is still not traversed completely up to its end store the next pointer into the temporary variable or you can say temporary node now check if current's value is going to current nodes value is going to be less than x then I need to check two condition. If 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 I have already encountered my head, or I've if I have already found my head, then I move to move to else part. Otherwise, I will come to if part. Suppose if uh, suppose if head is going to be equal equals to null, uh, uh, then I have found my head now. That so head one equals current and previous one equals current, and I need to assign head one's next as null denoting that still i have not found the uh, heads uh, that is head of the, my first link list next node okay and if my head is not null i need to assign previous next equals to my current node and i need to just change my previous variable or you can say previous node also and previous equals current and now previous next that is current's next of this my first link list node should be equal to null denoting that i am not going to have a still next node of this first link list and similar case is for this you can say this current's value greater than or equal to x okay now finally i need to assign as current equal stem because uh, okay or i think uh, this uh, there is no need to have a temporary variable also okay so um, yes i think uh, there is no need of this temporary variable yes okay so I'm going to erase that stuff also. So okay, after doing that, uh, check if previous. Okay, so so we need to join the two list. So there might be some chance that previous is already null. So I need to return head two in that case. Otherwise, previous next become uh, previous next should point to this head two, and we need to return head one. That is the entire uh, modified link list. Okay, with the on the basis of the values of x. Let's run this code and find it out if this is an efficient solution or not okay i have actually run this code i should have to submit it yes it is good now i want to check if uh, i need to eradicate the temporary variable what will happen okay so let me comment this code okay and i should write it as current equals currents next let's run this code now it is giving wrong answer i think i should have missed something or what previous next is current and uh, currents next is uh, while current not yes i should have to write the time because it is like uh, 
we should have been modifying this current in the middle of this video okay so so i should have to add the temporary variable also yes it is good so so finally uh, here we will have an accepted code so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video